Hi everyone. Do you struggle to get to the end of your to-do list or do you find that you keep on adding items to your to-do list and it just keeps on getting longer? If you do, keep listening because there could be some good tips in here for you. What I'd recommend is the two-step process. The first thing that you do is just track what you're doing. Track what's taking your time and what you're spending all of your time on. Then the next step would be to either identify ways of getting rid of it completely or to make it more efficient. Now, the real world example on that one is myself. Um, when the kids came home from school, when COVID st um, started and the schools closed, I became a full-time dad and a full-time teacher. I kept finding that what I wanted to achieve on a day just couldn't get done because obviously the time constraints I had um, meant it wasn't possible. And I kept getting frustrated because I kept on adding items and adding items and not clearing any, anywhere near as much as I wanted to away. But then with the reflection, it was a case of, well, the most important thing are the children. They're only gonna be in the house for a certain amount of time. You know, I need to in, uh, spend that time with them and making sure that I'm giving them the best education that I can and doing the best that I job that I can for them and making sure that the priority things were getting done. You know, being a leader of a business and being a, and the um, leader of a networking group and also the leader, the chairman of a running club meant that there are things that I need to get done. But then I opened up my screen time uh, section on my phone and saw that WhatsApp was consuming serious amounts of time every day. And um, there were lots and lots of conversations that were taking hours. So again, that needed to stop. So, not to say that I, you have to be a hyper-efficient machine, you don't have to be someone that just sits there and is only outputting all day. It's very important that you get balance. There are things you need to do in terms of um, making time to exercise and to take time out to relax. Um, but things like this, the video for me, I really enjoy these things. So making sure I've got the time to do them is important. So, once you've identified and tracked them, if you find that you're still not clearing your to-do items out of the way, you just need to put them to one side. So I've got a, a special list, if you like. It's a, it's a completely separate one. It's not my to-do list. It's just an item of the things that I haven't got, um, got through. Each week, or every couple of weeks even, every two weeks, I will look at the list and figure out if there's anything on there that needs to come in now and be looked at. Chances are, those items either have been dealt with or just aren't an issue anymore. So you find that those things just naturally go away anyway. But it then means that every day, I'm then focused on achieving those things I want to achieve on that day. When you've got a realistic to-do list for each day, when you get to the end of it and you sit there and you think, hang on a minute, that's it, it's done. Today's been an effective day. It gives you a much different perspective, a much different outlook. There will always be items that you can add to to-do list. There is always gonna be someone or something that's gonna want your time. It could be anything, even notifications on your phone. There are lots of things that could take your time, but get back in control and make sure that it's you, that's in, uh, you that are responsible for tracking what you're doing, making it more efficient and moving on and getting a really good effective day. So hopefully that's enjoyable for you and I'll see you in the next video.